This week we will focus on the amazing fact that Jesus, God incarnated, came and lived amongst us. He became a human being just like you and me. And, and he actually challenged us from that point where he actually infiltrated our lives. We're going to read today from Luke 2 and I'm going to read from verse 25. Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon, who was a righteous and devout man. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When the parents brought in the child, Jesus, to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all people, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. The child's father and mother reveled at what was said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, The child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be spoken against so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too. This is an amazing story of anticipation and fulfillment. The story of just an ordinary man filled by the Holy Spirit believing the promises of God of the coming Christ. It's actually a story of, of somebody seeing in faith what he couldn't see in reality. And reaching out in faith and waiting for that moment where his eyes would see the glory of God. It's a story about how God never lets us down and always fulfills his promises. Now let's think about the following. The question would be, have your eyes seen Christ? Do you see him despite the realities we're facing every day? The different challenges, the things that, that excites us? Do you see Him living amongst us? Do you see Him as the fulfillment of God's promises? And when you see Him, is there, is there something of, of, of praise burning inside you and, and, and looking for opportunities to share that with so many around you who cannot see Him? Let's read from verse 28 again. Simeon took Him in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all people, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. Let us pray. Father, we have seen the gift of your salvation. Jesus, thank you so much that we have the privilege to know that you have died but risen again so that there may be light for all the nations of the world. Holy Spirit, we pray that you will help us to embrace the fact that, that we have seen the fulfillment of the promise and that you will inspire us to be Jesus amongst the people, to live something in reality of God being incarnated, God living amongst us in His Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.